Decentralized finance, DeFi, is a rapidly growing financial ecosystem that allows users to access financial services without the need for a central authority. One of the most popular DeFi applications is lending, which allows users to borrow and lend cryptocurrencies and other digital assets. There are a number of DeFi protocols that allow users to borrow against real-world assets. These protocols typically use a process called collateralization, where users must deposit an asset of equal or greater value than the amount they wish to borrow. Once the collateral is deposited, the user is able to borrow a specified amount of cryptocurrency or stablecoin. The interest rates on DeFi loans are typically much lower than those offered by traditional banks. This is because DeFi protocols are not subject to the same regulatory and overhead costs as traditional banks. As a result, DeFi loans can be a more affordable option for borrowers. DeFi lending is still a relatively new market, but it has the potential to revolutionize the way people access financial services. By removing the need for a central authority, DeFi protocols can provide users with more control over their finances and lower costs. Here are some of the benefits of using DeFi protocols to borrow against real-world assets. Lower interest rates. Interest rates on DeFi loans are typically much lower than those offered by traditional banks. This is because DeFi protocols are not subject to the same regulatory and overhead costs as traditional banks. More control over your finances. DeFi protocols allow you to have more control over your finances. You can choose the terms of your loan, such as the interest rate and the repayment period. You can also choose the collateral that you want to use. More transparency. DeFi protocols are more transparent than traditional financial institutions. All of the transactions are recorded on the blockchain, which means that you can see exactly how your money is being used. If you are looking for a more affordable and transparent way to borrow money, then you should consider using a DeFi protocol. In this video, we will investigate one of these protocols. Centrifuge. I'm George from KK Technologies. Centrifuge is a decentralized finance DeFi protocol that allows users to borrow against real-world assets. It is built on the Ethereum blockchain and uses a decentralized autonomous organization, DAO, to govern the protocol. Centrifuge is designed to make it easier for businesses to access capital. Traditionally, businesses have had to go through banks or other financial institutions to borrow money. This process can be slow, expensive, and require a lot of paperwork. Centrifuge allows businesses to borrow against their real-world assets, such as invoices, real estate, and machinery. This can be a much faster and more affordable way to access capital. Centrifuge is still in its early stages of development, but it has the potential to revolutionize the way businesses access capital. It could make it easier for small businesses to get the financing they need to grow, and it could help to reduce the reliance on traditional financial institutions. CFG is the native token of the Centrifuge Protocol. It is used to pay for transaction fees, to participate in governance, and to earn rewards. CFG is a governance token, which means that holders of the token can vote on proposals that affect the Centrifuge Protocol. CFG is also a security token, which means that it represents ownership in the Centrifuge Protocol. CFG is a valuable asset for holders because it gives them a stake in the future of Centrifuge. As the protocol grows and becomes more successful, the value of CFG is likely to increase. Centrifuge works by using a network of computers to verify and process transactions. These computers are called nodes and they are spread all over the world. When a transaction is made, it is broadcast to all of the nodes on the network. The nodes then verify the transaction and add it to a block. Once the block is full, it is added to the blockchain. The blockchain is a public ledger of all of the transactions that have ever been made on the Centrifuge network. Centrifuge uses a proof-of-stake consensus mechanism to verify transactions. This means that nodes are rewarded for verifying transactions, and they are not required to solve complex mathematical problems, like in proof-of-work blockchains. This makes the Centrifuge blockchain more energy-efficient and scalable. To borrow against real-world assets, users must first create a collateralized debt position, CDP. A CDP is a smart contract that stores the user's assets and tracks the user's debt. When a user creates a CDP, 
they must deposit a certain amount of collateral into the CDP. The collateral can be any type of real-world asset, such as invoices, real estate, or machinery. Once a CDP is created, the user can borrow against their collateral. The amount of debt that the user can borrow is limited by the value of their collateral. The user must pay interest on their debt, and they must repay their debt within a certain period of time. If the user fails to repay their debt, their collateral will be liquidated. Liquidation is the process of selling the user's collateral to repay their debt. The liquidation process is handled by the centrifuge protocol, and it is designed to protect the interests of all parties involved. Centrifuge is a promising new technology with the potential to revolutionize the way businesses access capital. It could make it easier for small businesses to get the financing they need to grow, and it could help to reduce the reliance on traditional financial institutions. Cryptocurrencies are highly volatile, so your cash can go down as well as up in the blink of an eye. As always, you should never invest in something you don't understand. What are your thoughts about the centrifuge CFG? Would you use or invest in it? Let me know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. If you find this video helpful, please tab the subscribe button.